heaven there is no beer That's why we drink it here And when we're gone from here Our friends will be drinking all our beer Hey folks, it's Rob. And it's Travis. It's Major. And you're watching ApeRx only on ApeRx.com. Yes. Beer reviews. Tasty beer reviews. Hopefully tasty. Uh, so this first one, when I saw it on the shelves, uh, was at Specs. I I like wheat beers. Uh, Travis, you're familiar with that. You you might have been too I drunk. I love wheat beer, yeah. Yeah, but when I saw this one, uh, I thought it was interesting because it's a dark wheat beer. Mm. So it's Black Wit O <laughs> from No Label Brewing, uh, and these guys are actually here from Texas. So that's a quick wit there. Yeah, it really is, and. I love the label. That's a really, really nice looking label there. Yeah, so, it is. all right. So we shall. Let's uh, <laughs> crack it open. Let's do this. Do a smell out of the bottle. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's sweeter than oh. I would expect. I'd imagine with the darker, it's probably like. <laughs> I don't know what I'm smelling. <laughs> you don't know? I just want beer. I don't know what I'm smelling either. Yeah, I just smell like kind of sweetness, almost like a. I don't know, I can't really describe it, so uh, yeah. let's do a pour. I, I, I guess the reason why I wasn't really surprised with the fact that it'd be sweeter is uh, dark beers, because I usually associate dark beers with uh, molasses. Yeah. A dark Hefeweizen? No. You said it was what? Well, well, it's uh, a wheat beer, so. This is a wheat beer that's yeah. dark. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about this. I don't usually drink ales, anything stout. That's basically like my favorite thing to drink. It's nice color, nice dark color though. It's scary. Mm -hmm. Why does that scare you? Because I'm just like I'm going to barf this. <laughs> Anything thick is is like you want you want one slice or two. Man, you'd probably be scared by some of the stuff I drink then. Yeah, I mean, usually something uh, that's you know quote unquote heavy would have like really thick head to it. You know. Yeah, like, but no, this is actually pretty like almost a cake like. Fun yeah, I mean this, but. Not much head. Uh, I'm still getting much of a smell off of it. Does lace kind of nicely though, but yeah, I'm just kind of barely, kind of almost like a molasses smell, a little bit. Yeah, kind of a little like bit a, of grape, but yeah, other than that, that. That's what I was about to say. That weird kind of grapey smell that you usually get off of beers right. like this, or not like this, but it, yeah, it doesn't have like normal fruit smell you get from like a hefeweizen yeah. or, or anything else. But no, that's kind of like a more not necessarily citrusy, but kind of like a sharper fruit smell. Right. Yeah. So I'm interested. Shall we? <laughs> he already did. He already did. <laughs> well, fuck. I told you. <laughs> I'm down for he the want, beer. He wants his beer, so uh, yeah. let's try it. Drink, bitches. Or drink again. Thin. Very, thin. very thin. It's kind of hoppy. I don't, get, I, don't, Dr. Pepper. I don't get the hop taste, but... No. Not... Uh, well, that's why I don't drink like a lot of like ales or... Right. Any, anything dark. No, no, no. no. It tastes like. Sorry, I, I'm a dumbass. I'm thinking my two favorite sodas, Dr. Pepper and root beer. It tastes like root beer. I get a little bit of that, like yeah. kind of going back to that whole molasses thing. Yeah. Um, but even then, it's not very, not very strong at all. And also, since it's a wheat, a wheat beer, I mean, I would expect m more to it. But just this is. Yeah, especially something with like dark wheat. That is the uh, the implication of being a heavier drink, you know, something that uh, is something you almost have to, like, scale back on, or something you drink, like, deeper into the night when, you know, you're getting a little bit fuzzy and your taste buds aren't really working. <laughs> this is, like, your first drink. You you have to drink this first in order to even taste it. It's, it's light. I mean, that makes Yeah, because otherwise they just get lost so quick. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's very, like, just muddled and kind of a weak taste. Actually, on the bottle, it's, that, that's this is probably where you're getting the root beer taste. It says it's a smooth finish with a hint of liquor. Licorice. Licorice. Yeah, that's what there it we is. go. Yeah. yeah, but but even then, I mean, it's not the the flavor profile is just, eh. I mean, that's mm, just the long and short of it. it, it I don't know. It, it tastes like somebody brewed it in the backyard. Mm. That's pretty much all I get. Uh, where in your scale of the cores, like, and so on and so forth. On yeah. So uh, scale one to five. No one to cores. <laughs> No, Coors the Coors the Coors is the one. Yeah, so Coors the five. Yeah, five is like Thor's Equinox stuff like that. Uh, I honestly have to give it a two. I mean, it doesn't. It's not bad. It doesn't make me want to, you know, punch whoever gave this to me. But I wouldn't buy it again personally. I I wouldn't even. No. 
So what would you give it? Yeah, I guess Sonners. So. Me? Yeah. yeah. One to five. I'd, I'd prefer Lone Star. <laughs> wow. So that's, that's, that's my point of reference is Lone Star. That's not even a number because that's like on the imaginary number scale. Um, mine is like a one and a half. Um, I mean, I, I do think it tastes good, but I, I, I wish I could taste more of it. So that, that actually makes it worse. Yeah, it's very lacking. That, that's honestly the best description I can give it. It's I, I, I'd actually call it like watered down Guinness. Yeah. Yeah. That's. I'd agree with that. Yeah. I, now I feel, now like I feel sad that I did put this in a Guinness glass. Yeah, I was so. like, that's kind of funny. So technically, you have one Guinness and three glasses with lots of water. Yeah. Pretty much. It, so it really boggles really the sad. mind, though, how, how dark it is and how you know opaque it is. It, it's just. It does say it's a unique it's, dark wheat ale. It's ale, that's why. Oh. Yeah, but I've had ales that are more flavorful than this. This is why I don't drink ales, is because I get shit ales. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're drinking the wrong ales, and that's why we're here. Oh, nice. One and a half, or no, one and a half, so, two, Lone Star. No, uh, sub Lone Star. Sub Lone Star. Less Star. than Lone Star. Less than Lone Star. I have, I, have, I have less than Lone Star, or greater than, which is awesome. That's very few. I'm, get, I'm getting like a gag reflex. <laughs> yeah, this, I, no, this is the kind of beer you would definitely not want to drink warm. No. It gets warm, just fucking put it in the sink, you're done. So, uh, Black Widow from No Label, yeah, not recommended. So. No Label at all. So, you've been watching Aperex only on Aperex.com. Fuck this beer.